So this video is for people who are newer to marijuana stocks and who want to get a better general sense of what is happening right now, what's going to be happening in the future, and just some of the general things that you should probably know. Uh, so first of all, if you don't know anything about stocks, go learn about them. I will be uploading some videos in my channel about some of the more basics in stocks. There are a lot of people on YouTube and a lot of people online in general who will explain stocks to you in a very simple way. But anyways, let's get to the marijuana stocks. So first of all, why marijuana stocks? Well, in the upcoming year or so, there's going to be a lot of places who are going to be legalizing recreational marijuana use. And places like California, they currently have recreational marijuana use, but you, can, you can't legally sell recreational marijuana. You can't legally sell marijuana. And by the end of 2017, at the start of 2018, California should be releasing the licenses, and a lot of other places should be releasing the licenses quite soon. Uh, that will actually allow businesses to be able to sell and advertise marijuana. And whenever that happens, there's probably going to be a lot of coverage on it, on mainstream media, on social media. It's just There's going to be a lot of news about it in general. And whenever there's a lot of news about anything, the people who are more business-oriented or the people that have a business mind, they tend to look at the companies and the stocks that are associated with this. So the last time that there was a lot of talk about marijuana, was during the elections, so about a year ago. And people saw that marijuana was getting, was getting put on the ballot, legalizing marijuana, and the companies that dealt with marijuana, some of them went up 10 or 20 times, their stocks went up 10 or 20 times. And whenever a stock goes up 10 or 20 times, there's a lot of potential to make money. There's also a lot of potential to lose money, because afterwards the stocks did crash fairly significantly, but if you get in at the right time and you get out at the right time, you can definitely make a lot of money. So a lot of people are going to be interested in this when the licenses actually are going to start coming out. And the, the stocks are probably going to go up again. Uh, maybe not as much as they did during the election time, but they're probably going to go up fairly significantly once again. So look forward to that. Uh, so I'm going to be splitting marijuana into two categories. I'm going to be splitting it into recreational and medical, and we're going to be discussing both separately. Uh, but before that, the one thing that everybody agrees on between medical and recreational marijuana is that you need to have somebody that's going to that's going to be supplying it. So whether or not you're going to be looking at recreational marijuana, medical marijuana, whether or not it's extracts, medicine, just smoking it for fun, whatever you want to do with it, you're going to be needing somebody who actually grows it. So what a lot of people do when they look at marijuana stocks is they look at the companies who actually grow the marijuana because that is the one thing that that is pretty much 100% sure that's, that needs to exist. If you're going to be taking over some of the black market that currently exists and making it legal, then you're going, to be needed, you're going to be needing companies that actually grow it. And currently, most of the companies that you can, that you can actually trade over the stock market legally are located in Canada. And these companies are fairly big. They already have the licenses. Uh, they're growing the marijuana. They're expanding their facilities right now. And they are selling the marijuana to medical patients. Uh, also, something that I forgot to mention, Canada is also going to be legalizing marijuana, but that's going to be happening around July of 2018. It should be July of 2018 or sooner, and whenever that happens, a lot of these Canadian companies that are currently growing marijuana, uh, their stocks should go up and they should be doing quite well if that does happen when the government says that it should. Uh, so some of the companies that are in Canada, some of the bigger ones are Canopy Growth, Aurora Cannabis, Afria. Kronos Group, Supreme Pharmaceuticals, and Organigram. There's a lot of other companies. You can go take a look at them. A lot of the other ones are smaller companies. They are a little bit more risky. By the way, all, all of these stocks are, compared to your regular stocks, uh, like Netflix and some of the tech companies, these stocks are very risky. So just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, these are some of the companies that are the bigger ones and that currently have facilities set up. And they should be the first ones to actually take advantage of the recreational industry whenever that comes out. So let's take a look at recreational stocks. So the good thing about recreational marijuana is that there's going to be a lot of revenues. Uh, the black market already exists for it, but it's going to eventually get converted into just a regular market. The black market is causing a lot of trouble. Uh, people are not really a fan of it. People are getting arrested for it when it's not really something that you should probably be arrested for. People are getting ridiculous sentences for marijuana. And that should be going away within the foreseeable future. So the bad thing about recreational marijuana is that it heavily depends on governments keeping their word. So if, the, if, if government says that they're going to release 
licenses by a specific period of time or in a specific period of time and they actually don't do that they delay it because they mess something up or do something badly that's going to majorly hurt some of the companies that are dependent on recreational marijuana coming into play a lot of these Canadian companies that that I just showed you they are currently growing marijuana and they are storing it in vaults in preparation of of when recreational is going to come out and whenever that's going to come out they want to sell their marijuana as fast as possible and if they can't do that if it gets delayed then they're going to be having a lot of inventory sitting in, in their vaults and I mean there is an expiration date for it so it's not good you want it to be as soon as possible the recreation recreational at least uh, one good thing about recreational marijuana is that it is an easy source of tax revenue for governments and if you are a politician who is running against somebody you can't really you can't really afford to be against the recreational marijuana because if you are against recreational marijuana your opponent will just be able to promise a lot more free stuff than you can because if you're running up against somebody who is against recreational marijuana what you can do as a politician is you can you know estimate the tax revenue that you're going to be getting from marijuana and then you can promise a bunch of people a bunch of free stuff from the tax revenue that you're going to be receiving and based on that you will you will usually win because you're just going to be promising a lot more and you're actually going to be able to deliver at least on some of it whereas the other guy he's not going to be able to because he's not going to be getting this additional tax revenue from marijuana so politicians are soon going to be cornered in this area where they're going to be forced to be for marijuana legalization if they want to get into office of course so that's that um, the public also has a the public is also getting a better view of marijuana less people are against it now than were 20 years ago or so so that's that and currently all the companies that are probably going to benefit off recreational marijuana are traded in Canada the companies that you can actually invest into that grow marijuana most of them are located in Canada uh, there are some other ones but they are smaller and they are not as developed as the Canadian companies so looking at medical so medical mar well marijuana does have a lot of medical properties right this one so to give you an example there was a study conducted on 39 patients 39 children that had epileptic seizures I think that's what it was uh, but they had seizures 75 percent or 53 percent of them reported a 75 percent or better reduction in seizures and 17 percent of them completely got rid of their seizures so it does have medical qualities it does vary from person to person but that's that tends to be the thing with a lot of medicines uh, also with medical marijuana a lot of money can be made especially if the right patents are put into place so if somebody patents a certain way to extract marijuana or a certain component of it being applied as a specific medicine um, if that patent ends up being very useful for some sort of a pharmaceutical company or something of that sort these companies can make a lot of money the companies that get early into medical marijuana and the companies that actually get a lot of patents they can make a lot of money if their patents become necessary in the future so keep that in mind uh, marijuana is also an alternative to a lot of medicines so a lot of medicines right now like opioids they have a major problem of, of addiction and people are getting on heroin because they are addicted to painkillers and they can no longer get painkillers and that's a major problem right now so for a lot of people even if marijuana is not as effective at treating pain as opioids a lot of people a lot of people would still take marijuana and there have been surveys done of the, about this I'm not just making this up uh, but a lot of people would take marijuana over opioids just because they are afraid of the addiction aspect of it so marijuana can definitely compete with a lot of medications or be an alternative to them and people would actually be interested in that uh, the bad thing about a lot of the medical marijuana companies is that their medications tend to be a hit or a miss and if you invest into any sort of pharmaceutical company or any sort of medical company that is developing a medicine uh, if their medication turns out to be a failure the company stock will plummet fairly significantly it really depends on how important the specific medication is to their business plan but the results of these companies mainly depend on the success of their medications so you really have no way of knowing whether or not their medication is going to be successful so these companies are more of a gamble because I mean if their medications are successful the stock goes up 30 percent if they are not the stock goes down 30 percent that tends to be the case with a lot of these companies so invest in well trade or invest into these at your own risk
these are very difficult to actually consistently make a profit on. That's all I'm going to say. And that's about it. If you want, uh, if you want a place where you can get news about a lot of the stocks, a lot about about the companies that are traded, uh, Weed Stocks, Reddit, generally posts all the important news that come out. And you can also get a lot of opinions on here. You can get the companies that you might want to invest into, or you can get research. Just a lot of general stuff here. And that's that. So hopefully this helps. It should give you a better idea of how everything is and some of the future stuff. And uh, well, one of one of the other things that you might consider really quickly before I go, in addition to investing directly into marijuana companies, uh, you can also invest into companies that do other things like Kush Bottles. So, so Kush Bottles Inc. stock. This company manufactures all the all the um, the containers that marijuana is going to be stored in and sold in. And you can invest into these types of companies, which which don't directly deal with marijuana, but they benefit from marijuana legalization and all of that stuff. So take a look at this. It might interest you. And hopefully it helps.